Hey, Minecraft Mentor here, and today we're going to be showing you how to use your uh, engineer circuit table, but not only that, what it does with uh, our logic unit over here and how you can control different redstone things using the logic unit itself. So that's kind of complex, but once you get an understanding of it, I think uh, you'll be a pro in no time. So first we come over to our table. It does need powered uh, right in the back here. You can see this little square uh, with the orange thing. When we look inside here, you can kind of see a bunch of different things. And if you're familiar with redstone, uh, these are pretty, uh, pretty familiar. NAND gates, XORs, ANDORs, all that kind of stuff, NOT gates. So we're going to do an AND gate today just for an example, right? Okay, so when we click on AND gate, it gives us the ingredients that we need. So we need our backplate. We're going to need two logic components. It doesn't really tell you what that is. Those are vacuum tubes. When it asks for a logic... <clears throat> component remember vacuum tubes next it's asking for solder this one threw me for a loop but i finally figured it out it's either copper or lead wire so once we have those we can create our thing but we do need uh actually a logic circuit itself so we have to make a logic circuit also this one was already made a minute ago but we can adjust these uh outputs and inputs for this one i'm going to keep this one white we're going to go over to magenta for that input and then the output uh, we can name it orange. You can go through all the different colors. You can create different ones. And uh, when you do that, it gets a little bit complicated. I'll show you why in a minute. It's not really complicated, but it's it's doing complex things within a single block, which is really nice. So once you have this uh, little component here, this logic circuit, we're going to get it out of this and we're going to go over to our logic unit. The logic unit can hold uh, 10 different logic circuits so you could be sending in redstone signals of uh, various different colors from all over the place and it will be able to handle multiple uh, logic redstone logics in a single block which is really nice for outputs and different things but uh, for this you can see we already tested this out uh, we're going to put in our and gate and we can see that white and magenta going in here is going to output an orange signal so we're going to put a redstone connector on here in the front of this we need a redstone interface connector you can tell the difference right here you can see all the different colors the prime colors or whatever right here next we want to do some sort of input so it's kind of like a conditional thing we want to connect them all Ooh, auto jump i hate it uh connect those all like that and then we're going to come off of here and go over to this so we determined be based on of our and gate that this one was going to be our output. So we're going to click this output and we're going to match the color. So make sure it matches the gates that you're using in there. So output orange. And then we decided that white as our input device. So we're going to go with white. And then this one we said magenta, right? So now when we give these redstone signal, it's going to light up our lamp if the conditions are met. So obviously uh, we're using an and gate, which means and we need and this for it to work. So uh, magenta on its own doesn't work. White on its own doesn't work. We send them both in together. It's going to recognize that it's received signal from white and magenta, and then it's going to output that red sim signal over here into our orange output lamp. That's the basics of it. I mean, some of these gates can get a little more complicated, multiple inputs. It takes uh, a lot of different things you can do with them, but uh, once you learn your redstone gates, you'll find that this particular item will be super useful especially if you're trying to run machines and turn them on and off and do different things like that uh, this can be a lot of fun if you're a redstoner but that's pretty much it for this one if you found it helpful like comment subscribe